Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing okay. Now, yesterday we played Lens where we lost 2 1, and I thought, you know what, I'll come on the day after, a bit, reflect a bit on the game, talk to you guys a bit about my thoughts on it, um, as I didn't have a chance to do it last night. So, I'm going to start off where I think Arteta made a big mistake. I think. I appreciate him playing a really strong team. I thought we did put a strong team out there, but I just didn't think it was a good idea to play Saka. Um, Saka, going this game, he limped off in the game, our last game against Bournemouth, and we knew that he wasn't 100% fit. We know that he does need a rest, and I think it's up to Arteta as well to protect him and to make sure, you know, he's not kind of running, running himself down and he's okay and healthy and fit because for me on Sunday that game is so important for us and I feel like he's now in doubt for that game and Arteta has said it's not looking good for him so I feel like you know Arteta probably shouldn't have played him and um, so that's probably one of our mistakes and um, a big talking point of the game is the goalkeeper situation because obviously we do know mistakes happen in football and we accept that and Raya did give that ball away which led to them scoring and fair play to them they did score a great goal and I don't think you can really save that maybe Ramsdale would have saved that we'll never know but I think for me now Arteta has really got to decide which goalkeeper he wants now as a number one because I think for me having seen them both play I think they're both excellent. We're both lucky to have them. But I feel like Ramsdale definitely needs to come in now and get a chance because it, it's a hard one. I mean, whatever Arteta decides, I respect and support. And, you know, I love them both. But I do think Ramsdale deserves some time now because they've both got different, better qualities. You know, Ryan might be good at something else that Ramsdale isn't. And I've noticed that I think Ramsdale shot stopping is better than Ryan's, but I know Ryan's distribution is really good at times, but I think that was a big mistake. And I think defensively, the players need to know where they stand. Um, and they just need that at the back to know which goalkeeper will be playing consistently. But if we don't see Ramsdale on Sunday, I think I don't see him getting back in this team. Um, I think it's quite, I would say, a bit unfair how he's been shut out. Um, but we know this is football, decisions happen and you have to kind of get on with it. Um, but yeah, I do feel a bit concerned about Ramstad's future. So that's one thing I am a bit concerned about. Um, and also, I think um, I do want to talk on a positive and that was Jesus. I think he scored that excellent goal. Um, he was full of confidence when he finished that and I think it's really good because I think he's got his confidence back up and uh, it's nice when Jesus actually gets played in his proper position because sometimes you do have to help Eddie and put Jesus on the wing sometimes and put Eddie up top so I think it's important to help Jesus and put him in the right positions Um, but I think overall it really wasn't a good performance at all I feel like we were very tired, sluggish, lethargic um, maybe our minds are on the Sunday game because the team know how important that is. But it was a really bad performance, and um, probably the worst so far this season. Um, and we need to do better in the Champions League. I think I do expect us to get out of the group stages. I know that we are second because I know Sevilla um, did get a draw, which helps us out. Um, but yeah, it's um not good looking good. That performance wasn't great at all. Um and I'm not sure why we is it because we're not used to playing twice a week or um it is a hard one to put your finger down on what it is, but um I feel like when Saka went off um and Fabio Vieira came on, I probably wouldn't have brought him on. I would have probably put maybe a Reese Nelson on. Um because obviously, you know, Vieira's the midfielder and we already have Kai Havertz on as well. And so, um, but then Reese Nelson did come in the end. But I feel like sometimes it takes Arteta a while to make adjustments. Like he only made some until we lost. Um, and I know that would have been hard on the team for when we lost. But I just think we need, if something's not working for me, 60, 60 for a minute, you've got to make that change um, and change the game. So... Yeah, um, it wasn't really good and obviously when the subs came on we still struggled a bit, we did have a few chances, I know Tommy also did have a good chance and maybe on another night we would have scored that but 
yeah, it was a very, you know, not a great game. I think the atmosphere there was incredible. You could hear on the TV and maybe that affected the team in some way. Um, yeah, it was a very tough game for sure. But I think we've just got to really improve with this, move on from it and never do it as bad as we did then. I just think we're struggling with our energy levels. We're struggling, you know, we aren't playing that beautiful football. Um, in the last, you know, at Bournemouth, yes, we did, but we are really struggling um, with tiredness. Um, so I, I don't know how we'll get on, but I think on Sunday, if we play like that, we will get beaten by a lot of goals and we need to step up on Sunday. But I think we've just really got to put this defeat behind us and never do that again because wasn't really good um, and the fans that travelled out there obviously go and support the team but you know they didn't do better for them fans that go there that travel that way um but yeah we've just got to move on from this to the um thank you guys so much for listening to me have a little rant about that game um i hope you enjoy my video and i'll probably do a video after the man city game on sunday um fingers crossed we'll get that win we'll get something out of that game but um, I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.